Good morning. Welcome to today's devotional. We're in Colossians chapter 2. Today we're going to read verse 12. Having been buried with him in baptism and raised with him through your faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. And during our previous devotional, we looked at verse 11 where Paul spoke about being circumcised. And he was telling the, these first century believers, as well as us, that we have undergone a circumcision, but not a circumcision of the flesh, but of circumcision of the heart. And that has been done by God himself. When we become believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, when we are converted, we undergo circumcision of the heart. We receive new life in him. We, we are severed from that old life, cut off from that old life that we used to live where we were estranged from God, living independently of him and not according to his will. And we've been reconciled to God through the death of his son, through the substitutionary work of his son. And he carries on this thought here in verse 12. He says, having been buried with him, with Christ, in baptism. And it's quite relevant to us at the moment at KCC because we've just... We've just gone through a baptism, baptizing two people, which was a, a joyous occasion. It's always such a, a joyous occasion for to see people taking those steps of obedience and demonstrating publicly that which has happened on the inside. And here Paul just elaborates on that a little. He says, we were buried with Christ in baptism. And it's the language of identity as we go into the waters, you know, the Bible tells us that we have been, we've died with Christ. And as we go down into the waters, we, we're just demonstrating that symbolically that we have, we have died with Christ and that we have been buried with him. We identify ourselves with that, that death of Christ on the cross of Calvary where you know, all the condemnation that was due to us was poured out upon him as our substitute. And so by doing that, we recognize that we have, our condemnation has already taken place in Christ. He has died our death. He has paid the penalty for our sins. Praise God. We're saying that we have died to that old life, that old life of independence and sin. But he goes on to say, and raised with him through your faith in the power of God who raised him from the dead. You see, if it was just about the death of Christ, if it was just about dying with him and being buried with him, then it would mean nothing. We actually, we needed to be raised with him. And we know that Christ was raised on the third day, that he overcome death and the grave, that he was vindicated. And that because he lives, we also can live. And so in the same way that, that the going down into the water represents being dying and being buried with Christ to that old way of life, that old sinful way of living, being raised, coming up out of the water represents receiving new life. And so we have a new life in Christ. And we, we experience that now. Here, in this life, we, we receive that life here and now. And yes, there is a tension that goes on whilst we're in this body, whilst we're in this, this life. Of course, we're always, we're always wrestling with the old sinful nature. But praise God, we've got an alternative. We've got a, a new way of living. Nothing like the way we used to live before we knew him. But now we have a, a life of, of victory over sin. Praise God. We can know that victory as we know that life, the power of his resurrection life in us, being, being revealed in us and through us. It's a whole new life. It's not, we've said it many times, it's not just a religion, friends. It's not about religiosity. It's, it's a new life in Christ. And this is what we have received. And here, Paul is saying you've been identified with that, with the death and the resurrection of Christ. And thinking about that, you know, all of the things that were on offer from the false teachers, nothing compares to that. 
There's no amount of philosophies or, 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 or rituals or religion that can substitute this, the real thing. And so I just want to leave those thoughts with you again today. This is a reality for you too. And so please read this and see yourself as identified with the death and the resurrection of Christ. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.